the world's only seven-star hotel. If staying here is out of your price range, but you're willing to splash out on a night out, it's worth it. We're talking about the only seven-star hotel around the globe, the exceptional Burj Al Arab. So, what would actually happen if you visited a seven-star hotel? It's time to show you. Let's take the Burj Al Arab Hotel in Dubai, the hotel from the inside. Although the exterior of the hotel is exceptionally impressive, many visitors can't help but want to see the inside. Unfortunately, the only way to do this is to book one of the very expensive rooms or make a reservation at one of the equally expensive bars and restaurants. The hotel offers 28 two-story floors with 202 suites, the smallest of which measures 169 square meters while the largest reaches 780 square meters. East meets West in the Burj Al Arab accommodation, which features elegant white columns and mosaic tile accents in the bathrooms. The hotel's Royal Suite offers 8,395 square feet of space and comes with two master bedrooms that rotate on swivels, two full-size jacuzzis, and two five-head rain showers. The walk-in closet is expansive and the bathroom is stocked with Hermes products. The Royal Suite also includes a lounge, a library, and a cinema. The rooms include offices that have either a MacBook or a gold-plated iPad. TVs that emerge from mahogany desks are controlled by a remote that also controls the blinds, doors, and can notify a personal butler at any time of the day. The 321-meter hotel accommodates only 202 double-floor suite rooms, with almost 39% of its architecture being unusable for living space. Rooms are in high demand even though rates are over $2,000 per night, as many consider it to be a once-in-a-lifetime experience. The WOW Factor the mesmerizing panoramic views of the ocean from its luxurious duplex suites, a private beach, and complimentary access to the Wild Wadi Water Park are a few of the best features that would make you fall in love with this marvelous hotel. Unforgettable Welcome Visitors are often met with an unforgettable welcome as they are given the opportunity to be picked up from the airport in a white Rolls-Royce Phantom from one of the largest chauffeur-driven Rolls-Royce fleets in the world. For AED 900 to AED 1300 or $250 to $300. Guests can also be transported by helicopter or Mercedes. This match in Tiger Woods has teed off. A helicopter pad sits atop the 28th floor of the building and welcomes visitors who pay AED 10,000, roughly $2,700, for a 15 minute ride around the city. The helipad is also where Roger Federer once played a tennis match and Tiger Woods has teed off. Highly professional employees. The Burj Al Arab is staffed by a team of 1,500 employees who are trained to meet the most extreme of commands, like procuring exotic camels or having the chef cook up personally caught crocodiles. Every few hours, the staff brings in complimentary fresh foods that range from fresh fruit to chocolate decadence desserts. The magnificent Burj Al Arab. Burj Al Arab Dubai United Arab Emirates, located on an artificial island, a luxury hotel is significant in every way. Its architecture is remarkable, reminding the sail of a ship and doesn't get lost in the impressive cityscape. Its service and interiors are even more stunning. Burj Al Arab is said to be the first and only seven-star hotel in the world. The hotel is connected to the mainland by a private road, which ensures guest privacy. The interiors are the real design wonders. Suites are spacious. Restaurants feature seawater aquariums or a view of Dubai that can also be admired from a panoramic elevator. Although too luxurious for the most, the hotel is one more architectural achievement to admire. Star Power of Burj Al Arab It's one of Dubai's most famous icons, but just how much star power does the Burj Al Arab actually have? When visitors come to Dubai for the first time, most of them want to see two things, the Burj Khalifa and that seven-star hotel. They are talking, of course, about the Burj Al Arab, the sail-shaped structure that sits on its own man-made island of Jamara Beach. The hotel that is so fancy it doesn't have rooms, it has suites. The hotel that is so exclusive it has its own helipad. The hotel is so attentive to guest need that it has a 24-hour butler service and a staff-to-suite ratio of 8 to 1. The design of the building. 
The iconic nature of the building sees it dominate the Dubai skyline, and its designer, Tom Wright of WKK Architects, has compared it to Sydney's Opera House, London's Big Ben, or Paris Eiffel Tower, designed to make a statement and become synonymous with Dubai. The building resembles the sail of an Arabian water vessel known as a Dow. A vast mast creates the intersecting points for two wings which open out into a V formation. The space between the wings is where you'll find the massive enclosed atrium. Guinness World Record for the most expensive cocktail. It has broken an impressive number of records. In addition to being the tallest all-suite hotel in the world, in 2008, Borja al Arab also broke the Guinness World Record for the most expensive cocktail valued at 27,321 AED. It also created the world's largest tin of caviar in 2016 which contains 17 kilogram of Empress Caviar, the world's only fully certified organic caviar from native raised sturgeon. In-house florists. A team of up to six florists take about eight hours to create the flower arrangements in the lobby, using flowers shipped from Holland, Kenya, South Africa, and Thailand. The flower team always aims to include a guest's favorite flowers in the floral displays in their suite, creating bespoke arrangements ahead of their arrival. Did you know? Number one, there are 17 types of pillow available to guests on the pillow menu. Borj al Arab's extensive pillow menu is tailor-made to enable every guest to get a blissful night's sleep. Number two, it sits on a man-made island located 280 meters off the shores of Dubai. Borj al Arab was built on a man-made island. Guests access it via a bridge road that is 340 meters long. Number three, it took five years to build. Construction began on the iconic landmark in 1994. It took two years to create the island and then three years to build the hotel itself. Number four, the interiors are gilded in 24 karat gold, approximately 1,790 square meters of 24 karat gold leaf was used to embellish the hotel's opulent interiors. Number five, it is home to the largest Swarovski crystal ceiling in the world. The ceiling in the hotel's Japanese restaurant, Junsu, is adorned with 21,000 crystals used to represent the Milky Way. The installation is worth 1.3 million AED. Number six, its two top chefs hold five Michelin stars between them. It's recognized as a seven-star hotel, though it's a five-star hotel. But the way it got its impressive rating is pretty interesting. What exactly is a seven-star hotel? While there isn't any international standard of ratings for describing what lets a hotel earn the stars for the kind of comfort, luxury, and hospitality it offers, some countries follow their own criteria, whereas a few others stick to a mutually standardized classification at regional level, but some hotels prefer rating them themselves. With all of this, it's only confusing to understand which hotel is really a seven star. So here are a few reasons which we thought deemed fit for an accommodation to be the top seven star hotels in the world. Number one, it offers more luxury than what a five star hotel does at a much higher price. Number two, the comfort and amenities provided on the silver platter are world class. Number three, Every customer's experience is personalized and the interests, likes, and dislikes are taken care of. Number four, the rooms are spacious, but there is also a wide range of room types. Number five, the views from the rooms are exceptionally overwhelming. Number six, from a pool to a butler, everything is private. Nowadays, seven star is just a clever tagline that pretends an over-the-top experience. A seven-star hotel only exists in the marketer's brilliant gimmick sense, according to Vikram Browden, who led revenue strategy for Starwood Hotels and Resorts North America for 11 years before launching Sweet Story, a booking site. Someone could come up with a nine-star hotel or a 10-star resort. Where does it stop? It's like a wine bottle getting 112 points out of 100. If you are given a chance to spend a night here, what will you do? What are your thoughts about this hotel? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Also, hit the bell icon button so that you'll get a notification whenever we post a new video.